Hello, it's Sarah from Hardcover Hearts, and I'm here today to finally do the N is for Novella tag. Oh, fingers crossed this is going to go up. I had a lot of problems with the last one. It would get itself to YouTube and then there'd be no sound. Uh, so couldn't figure out technically what was going on, why it was wrong, and spent, lost a few days trying to get that up. No harm, no foul. It's, it's, we'll just let that one go. Let's get to this tag so we can, we can do this. This is for Sean the Book Maniac. He's kind of the wizard and, uh, the empress of doing these, not just a bailing, but also doing really interesting tags. So really thrilled that he, uh, asked me to, to join in and, and to do this. Uh, so he's doing, this is part of his series. It's the alphabet soup tag series. And just like Alphabet Soup, you get all these uh, jumbled of letters. Uh, he picked the first one was A, and this is the second in the series. This is N. And N is for novella. That's how we, we kick it off. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first uh, prompt is N is for novella. So uh, talk about the last good one that you read. I spoke a lot about this in Reading Rush, so apologies uh, if I'm kind of adding too much to it, but this was an episode in the life of a landscape painter by Cesar Ayra. This is the first of his work that I've, that I've read, and I've been collecting a few of his novellas because I really like um, these short little little novellas for readathons and, and uh, palette cleansers and ways for me to just kind of keep the momentum going. Uh, so this was a really fun read. Happy I happy I read this. You could see more in my week of reading uh, or in reading Rush videos. Uh, next is N is for Neighbors. So this is a work of fiction focused on or at least concerned with neighbors. And I think one of the best ones uh, for this is Our Souls at Night by Ken Haru. This is such a beautiful, poignant, lovely story. Uh, quiet, uh, calm, but really, uh, but a lot of depth. The story is that there is a, an older widow knocks on the door of her neighbor who she knows has also, um, been widowed uh, fairly recently. Uh, not, not inappropriately recently. And she comes up with a proposition for him. She invites him to come start sleeping with her at night. And the idea being that nighttime is the hardest and most loneliest time, uh, those quiet hours and when and not having someone there to talk to and to just share the, the space with is uh, debilitating. And so she'd like to see if he would be willing to do this with her. And then it goes on from there. Beautiful, beautiful story. Um, then the next one is N is for name. A writer you'd recommend whose first and last name starts with N. And so for this one, I have um, I have Nancy Milford. So only her first her first name. And so these are all of uh, the books that I have. I have more that I need a few more that I need to get uh, the Nancy Mil Mitford collection. I just love these covers. These are Penguin editions kind of modern, uh, stylized, stylized editions. So these are some of her, some of her work. So that is that. I like her, um, mix of comedic, comedic style, uh, and a little poignancy and her takeoff on the, um, British royals and the aristocracy. I, I like all of that. So that's that. Next up is a, N is for nuptials, a work of fiction that doesn't suck about a wedding. So uh, about a wedding. This one really was difficult for me. Um, I'm landing in a variation on this theme. So a wedding is on the cover of this, this book and it's the very end. It's the penultimate scene in the, in the book. And, uh, I really, I actually stayed away from this book way longer than I should have because this cover just sent me, I, it gave me so many bad vibes of uh, bad 1970s and 80 bodice rippers that I, I refused despite hearing how amazing the series was. And that is Elena Ferranti's My Brilliant Friend. 
Uh, I was wrong. I, 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 I'm big enough that I can acknowledge that. Uh, that was a wonderful series. Uh, if you want to understand uh, girl uh, friendships, when friendships between women, especially as, the, as women age through time and some of the complexities that happen with specific friendships, that was a phenomenal um, quartet of books. Uh, I, I will always be on the lookout for books that um, inspire me in similar ways and give me, give me a sense of the depths of, of women characters uh, in a way that the Elena Ferrante series did. So uh, a, a deviation on, on, that, uh, on that prompt right there. Uh, next is uh, N is for not aging well. So this is a book that you like less than when you when you read it. Uh, so there's, uh, you know, I need to think, I, this one has struck me. Uh, I don't really know any off the top of my head and this has prevented me. I'm, well, number one, I'm not a big rereader, so I wouldn't have gone back and reread it. Um, and I know that that may not be entirely what he's talking about. I think maybe out for this, I'll say um, some of, I'll say, I'll say Swing Time by Zadie Smith. So I I just I think Zadie Smith as a character, as a as a writer, as a as a woman in the world is a fascinating a fascinating one and I really really enjoy her essays. She wrote a a piece in British Vogue about how uh, Queen Elizabeth gives her vibes and reminds her of her grandmother, her middle-class grandmother, and it sent shockwaves that someone would have the audacity to claim something like that but it really was about the about the warmth that she feels for this for this woman despite the the age despite the the class uh differences despite the um the power structure and i just thought it was brilliant i really really liked it and so i really i i enjoy her essays and i thought white teeth was fantastic but i have really been let down and I just don't have the same love with her with her other works of fiction. So much so that I, I recently uh, uh, sent back and released into the world a few of of her fiction books that I had been holding because I, I do really like her as a as a person and a character. And I think it's really funny that she steals the titles of her husband's books and publishes first. <laughs> that just makes me laugh. Anyway, uh, next up on this is um, N is for a book with it's a book title with a lot of N's. And for that one, I, I'm picking uh, one of Sean's favorite books, one that I put down temporarily. I will come back to it. Uh, and this is Do Not Say We Have Nothing by Madeline Tien. Uh, again, I, I, you know, some books you just need to be in the right place and time to be able to absorb it. I wasn't it there was I just wasn't able to to get to take the time to get into the first part of the novel um, and so I figured let me just put it aside and and come back to this at, a, at another time so there's my answer for that next is um and is for not sure a book you keep changing your mind about whether or not you want to read it so I have decided I, I I've been wavering this is what I wrote for the when I did the the tag originally the first time where the sound went out. I have been wavering about Duck's uh, Newburyport, and this is by Lucy Elman. This is the thousand-page tome that's told in like one or three sentences uh, throughout the entire thing, a stream of consciousness of a woman in Ohio, and I've heard so many interesting things about it. I literally put an order on. I, I did a big order uh, with um, Book Depository, and they had it in. I saw Alex said that he he may have gotten the last one, but it was available, so I jumped on it and I and I grabbed it. And I didn't grab the weird uh, the weird cover with the duck half in. I I, I like the plain the the plain cover, so I'm excited that that'll be coming soon. And I think I'm going to try to to read that. Um, to, to buddy read that with a few people. So uh, we, I will let you all know when it comes in. Um, so next up is, uh, N is for nitpick. 
And so this is some small literary writing or book related thing that drives you around the bend. So I don't like when something is too faddish and it's put into, into stories. Uh, so uh, an example is when people put text in, into stories. I think that, or uh, what was it? Um, like you've got mail, AOL. I, I just think it ages really poorly. It's not really good. I, I, I really it set my teeth on edge was um, where, where have you gone, um, Bernadette? that whole all just the back and forth with, with I just felt like it, it was it's so specific and it's not and it's and it's I just I end up worrying about the lifespan of the book rather than enjoying the book so that's my knit um, next up is um, what do you what is a book that you this is and it's for next to nothing a book that you read as an adult that you can barely remember a blessed thing about So this is White Noise by Don DeLeo. And I, I know I read this, not this copy. I read um, the original copy and I don't know. Nope, it's not there. Don't, static, was static in this? Something about static? I think that's it. That's all I got for you. Okay, next up is, um, and it's for New Zealand, a book or writer you'd like to read from there. Uh, Catherine Mansfield, I'm interested in Catherine Mansfield. I know that a few people read The Garden Party. And uh, so I, uh, you know, and I think she has some, she's done some interesting work. And so I'd like to, to take a, a, a gander at some of her stuff. Uh, next up is, and it's for Nodding Off, a mind-numbingly boring book. Oh. Herman Melville's Moby Dick. I, if it were not for this, this uh, penguin drop cap edition, I would not own a copy of this. But if you're going to start with something like this, you can't let that M be this huge gap in the middle of your, of your beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, rainbow of colors, right? So I had to get it, but I just despise this and Billy Budd, oh, just kill me. However, uh, what's the one Bart Bartlesby, the Scrivener? I prefer not to. This is how I feel about Moby Dick and Billy Budd. I prefer not. So next up is um, N is for, now is your turn, tag a bevy of booktubers. So because I'm so late to the game, I think everybody has done this, but I will tag... Uh, Tia, if you would like to do this, I will tag Sharon, if you would like to do this. Um, and I think Leo, I think, but Leo, I think, I think you may already be tagged, but, um, yeah, I would love your thoughts and see what you're, what you all come up with. So that's it for me. I hopefully, fingers crossed, this will go up. I appreciate your time. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.